Weather from where you live. Well, we've talked about farmers doing some very patchy planning and field work over the past one to two weeks. Overall, it's been wet over the area, but it depends on where you are as to how much rain you've had and if, you know, nothing's been done or some planting's been done. It also has to do with how well the soil drains. But you get the idea here how the rainfall has varied somewhat over the area. You know, some places like here, parts of Central Fountain County have only had an inch and a third the past seven days. Whereas you go up here into northern Clinton County, Howard County, we've had anywhere from four to more than six inches of rain the past seven days. And then you get these patches where you've had maybe an inch or less for seven days. And then you run into White County. There are a few patches that have had more than five. So a lot of variability with the rainfall totals, but I think we can all agree that we don't need any more. We need to get the crop out and we just need the rain to cease. And we've got more coming in tonight. These storms have kind of delayed the rainfall because there's so many storms here, they develop a, a, a cold pool. When it rains so much in one area and storms so much in one area, it creates a lot of rain cooled air and that air is dense and kind of spreads out. So it's kind of forcing these storms southeast. But these in Illinois are moving our way. You can see these moving to the northeast right now, southwest of Champaign. These have produced some wind damage. And as these move in over the next several hours, again, some severe weather risk will still exist with these. Can't rule out one or two storms going severe with a wind threat. And then this little upper low you see spinning in Iowa, this comes in tomorrow. It's a cold pool of air that's going to allow some showers and storms to bubble up in the afternoon. So now to 2 a.m., still slight risk of severe. I think a storm or two could produce a damaging wind gust. Also watch for some locally heavy rain. Some rain in the morning will make it a no-mow, but it's a mow at midday if you don't mind some wet grass and then some scattered shower storms after an evening. You're fine to mow Friday if you don't mind a little wet grass during the morning hours. High tomorrow, 75. Rain tapers in the morning and then scattered storms during the heating of the afternoon with isolated severe weather risk, slightly elevated brief weak tornado risk due to the shear and potential of a couple cold, cold core funnels to form with this upper low coming in. Also, maybe a little bit of hail. Friday's fine, though. Patchy fog in the morning then turning mostly sunny with a high of 82 degrees. Scattered showers and storms will be with us tonight, and then some rain tomorrow morning giving way to a little bit of sun, and then notice how things bubble up during the heating of tomorrow afternoon and evening with, again, isolated severe weather risk. Total rainfall now to Thursday night, anywhere from an inch in the north to less than that as you go southward in the area. 70 forecast, 78's normal, 84 Saturday. Some rainfall and storms late Saturday night, Sunday morning to midday, and then we dry out Monday and Tuesday with a few more storms by Wednesday, Jordan. Yeah, I saw on Saturday.